I'll take you through how we change implantology and reshape it. I'm going to take you through step by step so you see exactly how the new M1 system works. Mm -hmm. And then I'll let you place an implant yourself so you can really see how effective and efficient it is. Thank you. So, so what, what's the big excitement about this new N1 system? Well, the excitement is that we've really minimized the system, so we make it work in a much more effective and efficient um, workflow. Mm -hmm. And that is, um, when you try the when you try the system, you really feel that how all the systems work together, and they've all been redesigned from the ground up. And we've also changed the way that implantology works. So instead of now using six or nine drills to place an implant, now we just think direct shape in place it's as simple as that oh so you just have one drill we have one well, we have one pilot drill or one osteo director and then we have a shaper which then shapes the osteotomy and then you can then place the implant so basically you're driving in an implant at a very low speed is that's that correct. correct yes that's correct yes. and there's just one drill there is just for that one. protocol so that protocol is one drill that comes co-packed co with the implant so you always make sure you have the exact drill for each time fantastic no wonder you guys have built up this kind of uh, uh, Secrecy and yes, yes, yeah, it's been a long time, kind of five a years. For a long time. Exactly, five years of development, and we've had uh, quite a few clinical cases already, and everything's been going very well. Yeah, it's typical Nobel, right? Yes, exactly. Science okay. first. Please go ahead. Let's okay. have a look. Fantastic. So, firstly, as I said, direct shape in place. Firstly, direct. Mm -hmm. This is the new Osseo Director. Okay. Can you just have a close up on this? Yeah. So, this is the director. It's just a pilot drill, right? Well, it's a pilot drill, precision drill, and round burr all in one. Uh -huh. It has a very sharp tip, which allows for you to engage on the bone, the well, and the different angles. Any kind of bone. Any kind of bone. Okay. And then it allows basically once you're inside and you start drilling in the osteotomy, you can change direction when you have a complicated case or you need to place angulated. Fantastic. What are you showing me next? So, next, we thought we go direct and then we go shape. Oh. This is the new osseo shaper, as we call it, the king of implants. Great. Basically, it's super slow speed, 50 RPM. Uh -huh. No irrigation is required. Okay. And so that's great. No irrigation. No irrigation. That's correct. Wow. And the idea behind that is that because it's so speed, it's so such slow speed. Sorry, it doesn't need it. So what's the speed we're talking about? Uh, 50 RPM. 50 RPM. Yes. Okay. And the bone chips are then left inside the osteotomy, which allows for great osseo integration. Mm -hmm. Also, because it's slow, there's less heat buildup, which means less cell death. Okay. And another bonus to it is for your patient's comfort. Because it's such low speed, there's less um, vibration and less noise, which is much more comfortable for your patients. Fantastic. So after you've shaped, then you place. But here comes the implant, the most exciting. The most exciting part. Okay. So basically, this is the new N1 implant. It's triangle in shape, mm -hmm. which allows for great stress distribution. Okay. It has a new tie ultra surface, which has basically taken the 20 years that we've learned with tie unites and then made it even better. So the idea behind the M1 base, uh, sorry, the M1 system is that it's really got a great stable platform in the bone and in the gingiva. Great, so this goes in at 50 RPM speed, right? Uh, this goes in at 25. 25 yes. RPM, okay. 25 RPM, it goes up to 70 Newton centimeters. Okay. Um, we have the new base on top, the new N1 base, which is triable as well. Okay. This is a self-centering self feature which allows it to pull itself into the center when you place it. Okay. It also, now we've done it, has a very slim emergence profile and we've, we've worked that throughout all our prosthetics for N1. So basically when it's driven in, it just gets pulled into the bone. That's correct, yes. Gets engaged, right? That's correct. That's goes by the design. Yes. And the, we have a very slim emergence profile now with the, with the abutments on top. Can we have a look at that? Yes, for sure. So as you can see here, this is very slim, and this basically allows for a really good volume of soft, soft tissue to connect, and allows you to get really great aesthetical cases. If we move on to prosthetics, okay. you'll see if we look at single indications, you can even do in, you can even you can do in-house milling, or you can use your local local lab. Or you can use our centralized milling, we like to call this the gold standard, our noble Prosera. And with this you get the advantage of angulated screw channel, you can have full contour, um, cut back or abutment. We also now offer the 16 beta shade so you get really good color definition and color matching. And then if we look at multiple indications, we obviously you can do in-house machining again for bridges or full contour. Um, we obviously have a new multi-unit apartment, which again has a super slim aesthetic profile. So when you look across the range, you can see they all are worked to have this slim profile for great aesthetics at the end. The multi-unit has the zeal surface coating on it as well, or sorry, zeal surface technology. And this allows again for great more integration. It's also retro-compatible, so it fits the other range of prosthetics Fantastic. that we produce. Now, can we have a look at the real implant? Yeah, of course. Let me turn over. Now, here comes the action. The exciting part is here. Oh, the, so here we go. Okay. 
So you have the osteo director, which is the initial start. You then have the osteo shaper, which is compact, well packaging, like I've explained before, always the correct drill for the correct installed size. It's a complete touch and solution, which makes it very sterile. We also have the new torque bridge, which is improved from our already great, very good torque bridge. It has new ergonomic features, a better pickup, and a new implant driver. Earlier, we were talking about these implant system. We were going by the models, and these are the models. Okay, and uh, right now we are looking at the real. These are the models, and right now we are looking at the real. How do we Real plus. Is that a problem? It's a little bit of yeah. a Pandora's box. There you right. go. A real implant system. Okay. Now, can we go ahead with this? Yes. Please? So now we take this off. Okay. And now we can now place an implant. Sure. I will be your assistant today. If that's okay. Thank you. <laughs> and then I will place the pilot, the osteo director for you. There so you it's go. such an easy procedure. Now, yes. we are directing this for 11 millimeter. 11 mil. So you go to the second mark. You go to the, the bottom of the second mark. Fantastic. Do the pedal there, fantastic. Open out. Yep, perfect. Okay, excellent. Let me eject that for you. Okay. Now. So what was the speed we did this? We did that, well you can go up to 1200 RPM or you can do less depending on This your... is just a pilot drill. Pilot yes, yeah. it's obviously irrigated as well, the pilot uh -huh. drill. And we have the rocket, would you like me to so This is what you, you were talking about, a rocket Yes, launcher. exactly. So, so you, you were involved in this design, right? Yes, yeah, this is designed by myself and my team. Please launch the rocket. Okay, so if I borrow the contra angle from your second, you. if you come in closely, you can see here, so again, it's a completely touch of solution. You never touch any part that goes into the patient's mouth. You engage, you hold the metal part first, you engage on the osseo shaper, mm -hmm. check it's on there, you then rotate and you squeeze this and you launch the rocket. So the satellite is launched. I'm going to pass that back Great. over to you. Then you move to number two. Okay. And now you can use the osseo shaper. We're going in at 50 RPM. So this is at the f speed of 50 RPM? Yes. Osseotomy at 50. This is something new. And there's no pressure required, it literally just pulls itself into the... Yeah, I'm not even pressing, and it's getting pulled. Yep. Perfect. And then we have to go reverse. Okay. So obviously it's threaded. I'll reverse it for you, there you go. Yes. So it's become a child's play. Yes, Let it really see. is as simple as we said. So now you've, you've shaped, now, uh, so now you've shaped, so now what we'll do... I'll check this. We will then launch the rocket, which you can see here. Mm -hmm. So pull this down. You find your implant inside. Okay. So then we'll take the driver. Because I'm a good assistant, I will obviously prep it for you so it's all ready to go. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and then ready to rock. I'll go to number three. Now we're placing the implant. Again, just pulls itself down. We're going in at 25 RPM. The good feature about the system is I used just one shaper. Yes. For osteotomy. Rather than using multiple drills, it was just one drill. And here we go. The implant is placed. That's it. Done. Fantastic. And one implant. Great. Excellent. So the suspense is over. Yes. <laughs> cool. Great job, John.